Okay, so far we classify the series to both the set of the old series. A divergent. But now classification convergent in conditionally. Like absolute. Absolutely convergent, conditional convergent. But this convergent. Uh, where is the definition absolutely converge? Okay, absolutely converge is if converge both the original theory and the actual value of this. So this is like a piece of game. The converge both is absolutely converge. She converge the actual value but do not convert the divergent, the original is conditional co convergence. Okay? Let me see example to understand this idea. Okay. So actually we have two problems here because I need to analyze if conditional or absolutely convergent. You know? So you analyze the original and you analyze the alternating. See, both are convergent, this is absolutely convergent. No? Let's, let's pay our attention in the alternative part. The alternative part, you satisfy two conditions. The, the first condition is it's decreasing. It's obvious that it's decreasing. However, you take the function. And you compute the first derivative. to analyze it as increasing or decreasing. Let me see in the calculator. <coughs> in the calculator you put a function. The function is x over parentheses x cubed plus 11. Mm -hmm. This is my function. You differentiate that. With respect to x, we look at this expression. We look at this expression. We look at this expression. Expression is minus parenthesis two x cubed minus eleven divided by x cubed plus one squared plus eleven. Sorry. Square. It's all because that part is positive. That part always is negative, but I don't know. Let me see. <coughs> so you solve this equation, for example, 2x cubed minus 11 equals to 0. In the calculator, you put it equal to 0. You put this expression equal to 0. Mm -hmm. And you solve for x. There is a weird number, but I see you put in decimal approximation is 1.76. Why? Uh, it's equal. Solution is x equal 1.765. Uh -huh, but the series start in K5. Therefore, in K5, it's obvious that this is decreasing. This is change the sign, and this is minus. Decreasing. Okay? Condition 1 is okay. Condition 2 for the alternating is the limit when k approaches to infinity of k over k kiwi plus 11. It's obviously 0 because this function is linear, this function is kiwi is increasing faster than this using the growth uh, rate, it's obviously 0. You say at least the alternating part.
is converging. Let's see the the park is no attenuated. Uh, suppose that I need to prove that this theory that is no attenuating is also convergent or divergent. I don't know. Uh, let's do it by comparison or even the comparison test. Uh, suppose C A sub K is K over K Q plus 11. A good approximation to determine B sub K is the end behavior, which is K over K cube, you know, K is 1 over K squared. So it compares with this series. K no, K is converging by P test. Okay, now using limited comparison test, we compare this and this, and let's see what happens. Okay, now limited comparison test is limited when the k approaches infinity of a sub k divided by b sub k. It's limited when your k approaches to infinity of k over k qb plus 11 divided by r over k squared. Mm -hmm. This is equivalent to say the limit, okay, flip it, flip it, is k cubic, okay, k squared times k, k cubic plus 11. And it's obvious that this limit is equal to 1. Mm -hmm. Now the conclusion is that this theory is also convergent by the summation a sub k convergent by limited comparison test. Therefore, if the attenuated part is convergent and the normal part is convergent, this is called convergent absolutely, absolutely convergent. The conclusion is convergence absolutely. Okay, I want to start for the alternative series. Alternative series test, remember, have two parts. The first part is KB sub K plus 1 less than B sub K. B sub K and this series is 1 over K. In conclusion, I need to prove that 1 over K plus 1 is less than 1 over K. This is true, it's obvious. This is obvious. And I decided to motion, no, no calculus, no algebra, it's obvious. Using common sense. And also, the condition 2 is K limited. When the K approaches to infinity of B sub K is 0. In our example, limit when the k approaches to infinity, okay, s zero, good, very good. This, this the alternative part converges. However, the non-alternative part actual value is this theory. One over k, and it diverges. by harmonic theory. Therefore, this theory converges, or converges, conditionally. Okay? It's easy.